So I've gotten a lot of questions about what you need to finish for week one, and there have been a lot of compiling errors. So I just wanted to walk you through what a complete week one should look like, and hopefully this will help clear up a bunch of your questions, whether it be about um, excess tabs or excess spaces. I know that can be a problem. So first off, we're inside of our week one folder. Let's see what's there. So I've compiled everything, but when you are starting, you won't have your project1.tab.c, you won't have your project1.tab.h, and you won't have your lex. So we'll get rid of all of those. So now you should just have project1.l, project1.yh, and your compile project bash script. We don't need the uh, .c for this week's um, compilation. So if we look at what's inside of the bash script, we can see that it's just flex project flex1.l, which is compiling and creating the lex file, and bison-d project1, which creates the two tab files. So if we go back and we then run our compile hold on All right, so in case you don't have um, access, you should be able to use sudo for your Linux and uh, just change mod plus x for your uh, Mac, just so that you have uh, executable privileges. So now we should have finished. You can see we've echoed flex compiling complete and bison compiling complete. You can see what's in there. Now we've got everything we need. Um, so that means that everything has worked properly. What does your actual project one the flex file look like? So here are all of our characters. These are just the added characters from the from the book from the calculator example. So these are our single character ops. We've got our comparison operations for all of our comp tokens or CMP tokens. We have our integer real, program, var, array, of, begin, end, our keywords, if, then, else, while, do, we have our print, and then we have our sets of terminals for our yyval.s for our lookup, and then our integers for our yyval.d, sorry, yylval.d for the number, and then our mystery character return. So that's all that's in the flex file. So just filling in here. Um, and anything's causing you an issue here, it will probably have to do with improper spacing. And then if we look at the bison, we can see we have our tokens, our union, we talked about that in class, our types, and then our start program. So you'll see there's a fair amount of stuff missing. This might be where there might be a problem with the notes from the PowerPoint, but this should be how empty your bison is right now. See, nothing in comparison is filled out. There's no C code in any of these for expression, compare expression, number list for number, there's nothing. Statement, simply we have statement lists, which is blank. number dots, sorry, number dots number for our ID list, and then simply new declaration for declaration list, and then new program. So this is very empty, but this is the baseline for the bison. So take a look at this, take a look through your own code, 
And if you have any other problems, send me an email. You don't need to compile anything, you just need to generate, sorry, you don't need to run this on the sort text yet, you just need to generate your lexyy.c and your .tab.c and .tab.h. Your .h file, we can look at what's in there. You shouldn't modify that at all from what's in the, uh, the code given in the template. But if we just look at that, you'll see we have all of our C functions declared. So our struct symbol, our sim tab, our pointer lookup, our sim list, our num list, sim list, num list, our struct abstract syntax tree, our print call, our struct flow, struct numval, symmetric reference, symmetric reference array, and then symmetric reference array, symmetric assignment, symmetric assignment array, symmetric int array, declaration, declaration array, all of our struct abstract syntax tree, new assignment, new comparison pointers for all these data types, our evaluation, which will be one of the last functions, functions we build, and our tree free. So that's all there, but that should all be in the given code. I hope that was helpful.